because a mother of a boy who shot a teacher gets 21 months in prison for using marijuana while owning a gun. That's right, the mother of a six-year-old boy who shot his first-grade teacher in Virginia earlier this year was sentenced Wednesday to 21 months in prison for using marijuana while owning a firearm. Deja Taylor's son, who has not been identified, shot first-grade teacher Abigail Zerner on January 6th at Richenek Elementary in Newport News, Virginia, a city of about 185,000 residents known for its ties to shipping for the U.S. or excuse me, ship building for the U.S. Navy. Authorities have said the boy used his mother's gun and shot Zuner while she was reading to students in her classroom. Zuner was shot in the in the hand and chest and has uh, filed a $40 million lawsuit against the school district, alleging gross negligence. She was hospitalized for two weeks and underwent multiple surgeries. Taylor's son told police after the shooting that he, uh, he stood on a dresser to take his mother's gun out of her purse, court records said. My mom had that gun. The boy told officers, I stole it because I needed to shoot my teacher, he says in a quote. Uh, in June, uh, Taylor, 26, pleaded guilty in federal court to two charges using marijuana while owning a gun and lying about her drug use on a federal form. Taylor also pleaded guilty in August to child abuse in a state level case for which is scheduled to be sentenced in December. Taylor's grandfather currently has custody of her son, prosecutors said, and federal prosecutors said they plan to seek a 21-month prison sentence and a term of supervised release. They argue in the court filings that, in quotes, not once, but twice, someone nearly lost their lives because of Taylor's offenses, citing the shooting of Zuner and an earlier incident in which Taylor shot her son's father after seeing him with his girlfriend in December. Prosecutors claim Taylor's chronic, persistent, and life-affecting abuse extends this case far beyond any occasional and or recreational use. After the shooting in January, investigators discovered 24 grams of marijuana in Taylor's bedroom uh, along with along with burnt marijuana cigarettes and drug paraphernalia, records said. Prosecutors claim Taylor also smoked two blunts sometime after Zuner's shooting and that she failed drug tests while awaiting sentencing on federal charges. In a quote, This case is not a marijuana case, federal prosecutors argued in court records. It is a case that underscores the inherently dangerous nature and circumstances that arise from the caustic cocktail of mixing consistent and prolonged controlled substance use with a lethal firearm, they say. Taylor's attorneys, uh, in, in, in addiction is a disease and incarceration is not a cure. Taylor's attorneys uh, had asked the judge for probation and home confinement. They argued Taylor needs counseling for issues that include school... I don't understand what this schizophrenia disorder. I'm not sure about that. I'm sorry, you guys. A condition that shares symptoms with schizophrenia and bipolar disorder. In quotes, addiction is a disease and incarceration is not the cure, her attorneys wrote. Taylor's attorneys added, if the judge decided to impose imprisonment, that she be sentenced to more than six months. Miss Taylor vulnerably stands before the court humiliated, uh, contrite, and saddened. The attorneys wrote, and in a quote, most importantly, she is utterly remorseful for the mistakes in her life that led to this horrific shooting of her son's teacher, who experienced a miracle by surviving. Earlier this week, two of Taylor's family members submitted letters asking for the judge to show compassion when deciding a Taylor's sentence. And with proper guidance and continued family support, I know my daughter can overcome this tough time and go through on and do great things, her mother wrote. And, uh, Six, six, the six-year-old had a history of behavioral problems, apparently. Court records reveal Taylor's son was troubled, in quotation marks, and had history of 
unpredictable behavior that triggered previous disciplinary action at Rishnik Elementary School. Taylor told police that her son was diagnosed with obstructive defiance disorder and took medication for the condition, according to court records. In an interview on ABC's Good Morning America in May, Taylor apologized for his actions and, in quotes, I am, as a parent, obviously willing to take responsibility for him. He cannot... He cannot take responsibility, uh, she said. Earlier in the week of the shooting, the teacher asked the child to sit down. He threw his arms up in the air and said, fine. And when he threw his arms up, he knocked her phone out of her hand on accident, Taylor said. That led to a suspension, she added. A legal notice filed by Zuner's lawyers described the incident uh, differently, saying the boy slammed Zuner's cell phone and broke it, leading to a one-on-one to a one-day suspension. When the boy returned to her class the next day, he pulled his mother's nine-millimeter handgun out of his pocket and shot her, according to the legal notice. School officials previously required Taylor's son to attend school alongside a parent as a result of his behavior problems. The week of the shooting was the first that he had allowed to attend by school himself, and Taylor's son told police that he had stood stood on a drawer. Oh, we mentioned this, that he stood on a drawer in order to get the 9mm handgun. This is just a sad, sad story all the way around. I'm this is just terrible news, and I want to hear what you guys have to say. And this is Jason Beck for the high at nine news hour. What do y'all think about this sad, sad story? Man. I just want to say, cannabis, this doesn't even belong in cannabis news. Cannabis shouldn't even be in the story. The only only mention of cannabis should be in a long list of things that this horrible, irresponsible mother left out for her child to get his hands on. Because, I, oh, man, prohibition dream just, right here in this story. Yeah, I, just want to, I just want to say that this is... Yeah, I agree not, with Stone. I feel like the cannabis is obviously yeah, yeah. like not even secondary or third or right. fourth in this story, but... Prohibitionists are going to love, love, love to point out the connection with cannabis. And I kind of feel that the government is throwing the book at her to make an example because we all know that they've been pushing so um, hard to remind us that, oh, if you want to use cannabis, forget about your gun rights. And I really do believe yep. that they're just using the scapegoat situation. Go go for it, I Tony. Think that, um, I think that uh, she needs the book thrown at her. First and foremost, this is a learned behavior. She used the gun and she shot her ex, the the son's father. Mm -hmm. See, while he was speaking, I was walking and chewing bubble gum. I wanted to make sure because before I made anything, any before I said anything about her, I wanted to make sure that I got everything that I needed to get about this horrible, horrible creature that people are calling a mother. First and foremost, she sits up there and um, she has two individuals next to her. One, I think that's her grandfather or father that now currently has custody of it. Mm -hmm. Um, They only threw marijuana into the mix. Because, well, they needed to try to say that she's, there's no way you can just come out, how the media has created the sense of you can't talk bad about a minority is ridiculous. So they have to say, well, she's a marijuana user to try to make it seem like, oh, it's a big deal. But ultimately, that's going to go away. The, 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 the main thing about all of this that people need to hear you know, out there is it's, this is learned behavior. The child heard the mother say things like i'll shoot him i'll kill him the child knew where the firearm was and the child realized that after the mother shot his father and there was nothing that happened to her and after hearing her rhetoric after that he felt inclined to go take his mother's gun and go shoot a teacher in school the mother should be in jail for a lot longer fair 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 it is all, this, 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 this is all in the parents uh, yeah period this i is agree all, it's bad parenting you don't deserve to smoke weed Anybody yeah, who yeah. sold her weed should go to jail too. And not because yeah. you, she shouldn't smoke, because she's such a horrible person. Whoever sold her weed gave her something good, and she should never have anything good because what she did to her kid, man. Yeah, yeah, I, I feel, I, I feel. I, I, yeah, I agree. I, I agree wholeheartedly. Uh, um, that I, I, the whole marijuana or cannabis like, usage thing is, is secondary, third, fourth uh, on the list of uh, this just bad parenting. Um, I don't I, I don't think that she should be, and, and I very, very, very rarely say this, especially with my wife being a social worker too, I very rarely say this, but um, she should not have custody of no, this child. She should not have custody, not to mention um, any 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 visiting rights should definitely be supervised visiting rights, and uh, this this is just a, just a tragic, tragic tale. No, it's, it, they, they're gonna be supervised. She should be behind bars, behind glass. That would also be supervised. 
Can, that's a supervised uh, visit. That'd she be a supervised like visit too. Five six years. Yeah. She should be there for five, six years. Someone got shot. The teacher could have died. Mm -hmm. Children in the school could have died. 100%. You understand? Like, this is super serious. And like, and then it's like the news makes such a big deal. And they, as they should, whenever a white kid goes into a school with a firearm, and I mean, it's horrible. You're supposed to make a big deal. But anytime any children go into any school with a firearm, with ill intentions, it's supposed to be super, super media coverage over it. That way we can get to the bottom it of it. Because it's there, not there, a white and black thing. It, when, this, when this happened, there was a lot of media coverage on it. Uh, this is a Virginia specific, but it, there was a lot of media coverage uh, on this one. And they're, they're finally getting into court for it. So and, I gotta, and, and I gotta it, speak it up was, on, on that. It was the number yeah. one story on Google search engine this morning, too. Yeah, it was. It was it, there, there was a, there was plenty of media coverage on it. It yeah. had nothing to do with it being a, a a black kid or a black mother or anything like that. But I do I, I do I do agree with you guys. They're putting the, they're putting the cannabis in there because they're trying to steer that that prohibitionist Clicks. rhetoric with the, with the guns yep. with the guns and people that mm -hmm. smoke cannabis should not own guns. That whole narrative that's just is totally totally mm -hmm. totally ridiculous. But on that, we got to keep this train train rolling. 